Okay, the last thing I want to discuss in just kind of this introductory to illustration, of course, we'll continually layer it on um, week by week. But anyway, as I want to talk about the different media that you will use and that is available for you um, in the studio. So first, a pencil. I love a mechanical pencil. This is like my favorite, not this specific brand. This is just what they give us for free here. But I just like a mechanical pencil. Honestly, my favorite is this one. The ones I always think they're the ones that kind of they make them look like pencils. I don't know why I feel like the leads harder on this one. The lead soft. Anyway, that really doesn't make a difference. Anyway, I mean, it makes a difference to me, but you do not need to be as finicky as I am. The next thing is um, an ink pen. So um, I really like these. Um, again, these are ones that are actually free <laughs> that they give us here on campus or like to us. Like they're not free, obviously. Your student fees pay <laughs> for us to use this. But um, I ordered some more for the studio. So we'll have some of these. I, I really um, like this kind of pen. Now, um, this one that's not an ink one, but I'm really liking is this Sharpie S gel. Okay, I'm kind of, I really like supplies. And then this one is this Una, Unibol. I like this one too. These are like my three favorite pens right now. This is like an oldie but a goodie. This is a new find. Um, and this I've been using for a while. Um, so... Believe it or not, you'll always start with the pencil and you'll kind of end with these guys. In between, you use different, like obviously, colors to color your illustrations. Um, one of my oldie but goodies is a colored pencil. I was always really afraid of markers, so I was a big colored pencil person. Now I really do like markers. Um, I think I just had to get over my like fear of them or something. I don't know. Um, so I have a bunch of colored pencils, um, in the classroom. Um, I honestly, yes, these are Prismacolors. Prismacolors are super expensive. I honestly will say Crayola does just fine when it comes to both pencils and markers, honestly. These, um, Prismacolor obviously would be the, it also has markers, but those are just so expensive. We do have some in the classroom, but um, but I just got these on this Oahu, O-H-U-H-U. I got these on Amazon. The thing that you like that you need about markers, I will say, the one thing that I think is like a winner to these kinds of art ones is it has kind of like a finer point side and then kind of, it isn't a brush side, but it's just like a thicker side. These are pretty affordable on Amazon. I've really liked them. Um, you know, we have a pretty good selection. They always have, we have a pretty good selection of colors and I got the um, like 24 shade, skin tone shade one. So those are both in the studio. Some of the little extra ones that I kind of like, I always like a good like Sharpie silver, the Sharpie black. Um, they have the, I like the ones that actually have not only the like marker side, but I like the ones that have the fine point side as well. I'm a huge fan of that. Um, also these kind of these like metallic ones are really fun. There's also a white one. Where is it? Here's the white one. So the silver mark of the Sharpie ones. These are great when it comes to like sequins, showing metallics. Um, things of that nature. So you'll actually do sequence with these like white ones. Or you honestly can, I, I, I will show you a way to do this in, um, with like, oh, I'm like the white out, white out. So these are kind of the medium. So let me just kind of show you how you can like just basic, basic layer these mediums. And again, I will, um, we will, I will show you how to use all these different ones to show different fabrics. So when you illustrate, you really got to think of like, what's my fabric? Like, you know, anyway, so let's just, I actually don't even have the markers in here. <laughs> I only have the ones I was actually showing for this. So 
I'll show you in more detail in the classroom. But, you know, let's just say, um, you know, you'll always kind of start off with a pencil. And then you'll start to, if you, you know, you know how I'm making this like darker here and I'm going to do this like, because that'd be kind of like the crease. I'm pretending like the light's coming from this side, but in fashion, we don't follow that perfectly, to be quite honest. So you kind of like, you know, we'll fill it in. See how you do, you can layer up with markers. You can also start to, if you're ever going to show texture, you can, you know, you'll, you'll choose like maybe a different colored pencil, you know, whether it's slightly probably darker or lighter and you'll, you can always add on top of this. And then you always come in at the end with this black marker. And this is where you kind of, you know, find point everything. Um, so this is where you'll really start to add your garment detail. So like I have some ribbing up here. Um, this is where I'd probably add a little hem. Um, so things like that. So then it starts to bring this kind of more to life. Um, so hopefully, you know, this is just the start. I just kind of wanted to give you this very, very foundational knowledge. We will continuously layer on this in the next three weeks to kind of give you three, four weeks even, um, to give you more and more about, you know, how you can kind of add, you know, continually add to this. But Here's just kind of the basics that we'll be covering in class. This kind of, this technically week two, um, and then we'll just go from there. All right, thank you. Email me if you have any questions.